Hey guys, as I'm sure you can tell by me sitting in this chair, we're back for another video today. And today is going to be a, um, oh, I just lost my train of thought. Today is going to be a review and unboxing and on foot for the Adidas Sambas Originals. Let's get right into that right now. Okay, so I've been, let me just start out just by saying I have wanted these shoes for the longest time. I've always seen them. I think they're super cool. I think they're super vintage, and I just love the way they look. I absolutely love them. I wanted them for back to school this year, and then one day I went into Urban Outfitters. As you can tell by this lovely bag, I went into Urban Outfitters, and I saw them, and I just had to have them. Had I had to have them. I had to have these shoes. I had to have them, and they're beautiful shoes. I love them. They were, I believe, these shoes were um, seventy bucks. They're either seventy or eighty. They weren't. They're pretty affordable shoes. They're super high quality for the price. Like I really, really appreciate that. This is the box they come in. I know some boxes that I've seen are black, but this one's blue. I think it's because these are the originals, and they have a little original tag on the tongue. I'm not sure what's the difference between the originals and the classics. I know there's some kind of difference with the tongue. I think the tongue on the classics are longer. But these are the originals, and these are the ones I'm going to be reviewing today. Um, like I said, these were 70 bucks. I got them at Urban Outfitters. You can totally order them online. You can find them on retail stores for under, like, you know, the, ask, the, not asking price, but you can find them under 70 bucks in some places. They're pretty popular shoes, so if you want these, you know, you can totally browse around online. I will link the Urban Outfitters um, under this video, so you can totally buy them from the same place I did if you want the same ones. That being said, let's jump right into the unboxing. Ah! <laughs> um, they have the first layer of wrapping paper. Now, this is a small thing, but... Like I said, this is something that I really, really appreciate. I'm just gonna take it right out of the box. It's just regular, well actually, it's not just regular white pa white tissue paper, it is white paper, and then it has the gold Adidas logo on there. I really appreciate that, I love it. When brands take the extra step in packaging, I think this is so cool, I love it. Like, you could even put this somewhere, and I held it up backwards, y'all, I'm so sorry. There's the gold. There's the gold Adidas leaves wrapping paper. The other paper in there is just white, and I don't know, I really think that is so cool. I, like I said, I love, 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 love when brands do stuff like that. It makes me really confident in giving them my money for things, I guess, if they take that extra step and put that little touch on there. I just, I like it. Now, I will quit spending this whole video talking about wrapping paper now. Okay, so, these, these are the shoes. They're absolutely beautiful shoes. I love them. They're so, like, what's the word? They're vintage -y and they have a lot going on, but they're still minimalistic in the sense that these are black and white, but they do have a mix of materials, and I really like that because the material on these shoes are very high quality, and you can feel that. Okay, so like I said, these are the originals, and the classics, I think they're called, have the, a longer tongue. I know some people cut that off anyway, so if that's something that you really want, then I would completely recommend going with the classics, but if you're not worried about that, then these originals will probably be perfect for you. Now, um, originally I wanted to get the, I wanted to get black Vans with a gum sole, or the black Nikes with the gum sole. Gum sole is just this color right here, this brown. I don't really like white sole shoes. It's just never something that has been really appealing to me. They get dirty really easily. I like white shoes. I like dirty white shoes. I just don't like white soles. That's just, that's just not my style. I just don't like it. And that means that these are perfect. Um, these, like I said, they just have this little gold um, samba right there, and then they have the three, the the three lines, the three white lines, and then most of the shoe is wrapped in leather, like around the back. This is all leather, 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 and then right here they have this black suede like toe. I'm not sure. I'm not like I'm not really like a shoe guy, so I don't really know what the parts of these shoes are, but this is suede and this is black leather. Now, these shoes are very comfortable. I actually really, really enjoyed wearing them. I thought they might not be too comfortable just because they are like flat shoes, but they're super comfortable. They are very padded. If you have um, flat feet though, these might not be the shoes for you because they do have the little like thing that's like right here, like this area on the inside, it's padded, it's super comfortable. And I know one of my, the reason I'm saying that is one of my friends has flat feet and she didn't really like these shoes because they weren't comfortable for her. But, 
If you do not have flat feet, then these shoes are probably going to be super comfortable for you because they are super comfortable for me. Now, the way sizing works with these shoes, um, I would say that they either fit true to size or a little bit, they, they might run a little small or a little tight because I would classify my shoe size as 11 and these are 12s. Um, but that being said, I do wear different sizes in all of my shoes. I, I might just be a 12, maybe not 11, but these shoes are pretty accurate. I might actually recommend going the size up just because that's what I did and it worked out. But also in the store, I don't know if they have half sizes online or in other stores, but I know they didn't have half sizes in my store. So that is why I didn't try an 11 and a half. But you know, that half size, that if they have it, that might be perfect for you. You might not have to go the extra size up. That's just what I did, and these fit perfectly. They're actually a little bit snug when I have socks on, so I guess these shoes do run a little, you know, smaller compared to, like, you know, your size and everything. Um, I think that is all I wanted to cover in the review. Like I said, these are really comfortable shoes. I really enjoy wearing them. I can wear them all day long without a problem. I like them. I think they are, um shoes that you break in because they're leather and everything generally with leather shoes you have to break them in these are pretty comfortable when i put them on initially but i feel like they are definitely going to be more comfortable the longer i wear them all right guys so now for the next portion of this video if you are interested in seeing the on foot of these then you should totally stick around because that is what we are going to be doing right now like I said, on foot, these shoes are super duper comfortable. I love wearing them. They're absolutely perfect for going back to school because I can totally wear these all day long without my feet getting sore or anything like that. In this video, I did wear shorts with these just because I wanted you to be able to see the full shoes and I didn't want to cover them up at all. I don't know how I feel about wearing shorts with these shoes in real life. It's kind of takes a little bit getting used to, but I don't know. I love these shoes all the way around. I think they're perfect. They're exactly what I wanted, and I really hope that you guys like them as well. Like I said, I'll be putting the link below, but other than that, yeah, these shoes are super comfortable, and I'm really glad I got them. Alright guys, that is all for today's video. I love these shoes. I hope you love them just as much as I do. If you are interested in buying them, like I said, I will definitely link the website below. I got mine at Urban Outfitters. So that is where I'm going to link them just because I had a wonderful process buying them there. And you should as well. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. It would help me out a ton. I'm sure you guys already know that probably since I talk about it every time. But follow me across all social medias. Rustin underscore Hester. Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. It's all the same. It would help me out a lot, guys. And plus, you could follow me and keep up with my everyday life and things of that sort. Until next time, I love you so much. And yeah, that's about it. Bye, guys.